News vandals strike a local school doing a lot of damage and leaving behind a lot of destruction. Well, Mike Rogers, you got that video tonight. What can you tell us about where this happened and the investigation? Yes, yeah, Susie and Chauncey, this happened at an elementary school out in Hesperia. The school staff was very surprised and upset to find what they found when they walked in the school this morning. We'll show you. This is Maple School of Innovation, and you can see this room just completely trashed here. Tables flipped over, chairs all over the place, and as he walks closer to the TVs here, you'll see those TVs have big holes in them, big gouges. Now, it doesn't appear that anything was really stolen, just incredibly vandalized. There's the TVs, and you can see all the damage done to them. Very large, and you can imagine expensive TVs, especially for a smaller school. You walk into the room here, you see the American flag on the ground. There's a copy machine, some shelves, everything just really thrown everywhere. All kinds of destruction and damage, more damage to that TV there. Now, the principal posted this video on Facebook. He also posted some pictures, which we'll see here in just a second, of the people he says are responsible, apparently caught on security cameras. One of them looked like a juvenile to us. That's why you see the face blurred right there. But uh, you can see all of them uh, in kind of clothing here. They walk up to the school, and apparently that's when they all went in. Now, uh, we did notice that all three of them in this photo, two of them have masks. One of them is wearing that bandana, that one with the backwards hat there. Now, I also want you to listen to some sound here from the principal who says this whole thing was very upsetting to the community. We are Maple, we are strong, and we're united in the best of times and in the most challenging of times. For individuals to come in and cause this kind of damage is disheartening. Please help us keep our home safe. To our community members, we need you to be an extra set of eyes and ears out there. Yeah, tonight, the principal says they really need that extra set of eyes and ears. If anybody recognizes the kids in these photos or the people in these photos, you're urged to call the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Office, who is handling the investigation. Meanwhile, you guys, I did have a brief email exchange with the principal tonight who says this was very upsetting to the whole community, but says they are strong, will persevere, and they are very hopeful that the perpetrators will be caught. All right, Mike, thank you.